Good morning children. Welcome to today's math class. In yesterday's class we discussed estimation. Right? In yesterday's Google Meet we discussed estimation. Few problems also solved. So let us uh, practice few more problems or estimation. Okay children. Now see the question number 2. Give a round. Sorry. Give a rough estimate by rounding off to the nearest hundreds and also closure estimate by rounding off to the nearest tens. What does it mean? Uh, rough estimate and closure estimate. Rough estimation means rounding off to the nearest hundreds. Okay children. Rough estimate means we have to round off the given number to its nearest hundreds place. Closure estimate means we have to round off the given number to its nearest tens. We know that what are the rounding numbers uh, in tens right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. These are rounding numbers in tens. Then what are the rounding numbers in hundreds? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900 and 1000. These are rounding numbers in hundreds place. Okay. Let us do. That means in this question we have to round up the given numbers to hundreds and to tens also. Rounding off to the tens is called rough estimate and rounding off near to the tens is called closure estimate. Let us start. First, I will write the given numbers. Here actually we have 1,8734 minus 47,599. We should not do actual uh, subtraction children. We should not do. Okay. See how to do this problem I will show. First, you write the given numbers 1,8734 down 47,599. So, first let us round off to the hundreds place. That means rough estimate. Okay. So, how can we round off this number to the hundreds? So, first you identify what is the uh, number in hundreds. So, that is 734. Now you observe 734. In between which 200, 734 will be between 700, 800. Now you check 734 is near to 700 or 800. It is near to 700. So we have to write 700 in place of 734. Remaining part we have to write as it is. Is it clear? So see. 1,8,000 will remain the same. Right? Only 700 and 734. Is it clear? Now, let us check second number. Second number is 47,599. As we have to round up to the hundreds, only hundreds place we will take. What is the number in hundreds place? 599. Tell me between which two hundreds the given number lies? 599 comes between 500 and 600. Now check out. Is this number near to 500 or 600? It is near to 600. So in place of 599 we have to write 600. Okay children. Now see. 47,000 will remain the same. It never change. And 599 becomes 600. Now check out. We have to subtract them. 0, 0, 1, 1, 10 minus 4, 6. Okay children, 61,100. Now let us check how to round off to the nearest tens. Okay, now I am writing the question again. 1,8734 and 47,599. So, closure estimate means we have to round off the given numbers to its nearest tens. Now, you see what is the number we have in tens place. 3499. Now, check out between which two tens 34 will be. 34 will be between 30 and 40. And 34 is near to 30 or 40? It is near to 40. Is it clear? Now, in the place of 34, we have to write 30. Let us write 1,8734 and 
30. We are rounding off to the tens, right? Only tens part will be changed. Remaining part we have to write as it is. Okay. See the next number. In the next number we have 99 in tens place. Now we have to round off 99 to hundreds. So 99. Tell me between which tens uh, 99 will be? 99 comes between 90 and 100. Check out children, 99 is near to 90 or 100. Yes, it is near to 100. So, in place of 99, we have to write 100. Okay, children, see here, as we have to replace this 99 with 100. So, already in 100's place, we have 5, right? So, 500 plus 100 becomes 600. Is it clear? Yeah. Now, as we have to subtract the numbers, let us find the difference. So, 0, 3, 1, 1, 4, sorry, here, yeah, 10 minus 4, 6. Now, you observe both answers, nearest to hundreds and near to tens. Observe, we got the same answer, no minor difference is there. When we are rounding off to the nearest hundreds and rounding off to the nearest ten, minor difference is there. Okay, children. Let's try third bit. So, as we are finding closure estimate and rough estimate. What is rough, est rough estimate? Rough estimate means we have to round off the numbers to the nearest hundreds. Closure estimate means we have to round off to the nearest tens. Okay, let's do this. So here the C question is 8325 minus 491. So nearest to hundreds. That means this is a rough estimate. Okay. So we have to round off to the nearest hundreds. So first we have to identify the hundreds part. So this we have in hundreds. 325. Now you tell me children 325. Between which hundreds 325 will be? 325 will be between 300 and 400. Check out 325 is it near to 300 or 400? It is near to 300. So 325 have to replace with 300 in the number. Okay. So we have to write 8000. In 325 place we have to write 300. Now check out the second number. In the second number we have only 100's place. Okay. The highest place is only 100. So let us take 491. Now tell me children 491. Between which hundreds this number lies? 491 will be between 400 and 500. 491 is it near to 400 or near to 500? It is near to 500. That means in the place of 491 we have to write 500. Let us write. Okay. After writing the nearest hundreds what we have to do? Subtraction because it's given subtraction symbol between the numbers. So let us subtract 0, 0, 3 minus 5 it's not possible so borrow. Okay. It becomes 13. 13 minus 5? 800. Now let us try what will be the answer while rounding off to the nearest hundreds. Okay children. Let's start. So we have to round up to the tens. What is the part in tens? We have here 25. Tell me children, between which two tens? 25 lies. 25 lies between 20, 30. Now 25 is it near to 20 or 30? You can ask me ma'am, 25 is the middle number. How can we say? When it is exactly a middle number 25, we have to round up to the Highest place. Okay children. So we have to take 30. So in the place of 25 we have to write 30. Let us write. Remaining part will be as it is right. 8300 will be as it is. 25 needs to replace with 30. Okay. Now let us uh, check the next number. What is the tens part in the next number? 91. Tell me children. This 91 between which tens? Between this 91 will, will be between 90 and 100. Check out 91 is it near to 90 or near to 100. It is near to 90. Okay. So in the place of 91 we have to write 90. I hope you understood. Yeah. So I am writing 400 
90. So, we have to subtract the numbers. So, start subtracting 0. <coughs> 3 minus 9 not possible. So, borrow. 13 minus 9 gives 4. And then again 2 minus 4 is not possible. So, borrow. Here we will get 8. 8 only? Yes, 8 and 7. <coughs> See? Observe both answers. This is uh, rough estimate. This is closure estimate. Understood, yes. right? David. Okay, children. So, here we have the numbers. 4,89,348 minus 48,365. So, for these two numbers, we have to find out hundreds round of and tens round of and then we need to subtract them. So, first you identify what is the number we have in hundreds. 348, 365. Let us round them. Okay. So, 348. Tell me children, 348 is in between 300 and 400. So, is it near to 300 or 400? It is near to 300. So, 348 have to replace with 300. Let us write. So, we have to write. 4,89,300. Now, here in the second number we have 365 in hundreds place. So, 365 is also between 300 and 400 only. Now, check out 365 is near to 300 or 400. It is near to 400. So, 365 have to replace with 400. So, let us replace this part with 400. And then what to do? We have to Subtract them. Let us find the difference. So, 0, 0 here. Borrow. It becomes 13, 13 minus 4, 9. Then 8 minus 8, 0. 8 minus 4, 4. And 4 comes down. Okay, children. Let us find tens round of also. Tell me, children, what is the number we have in tens? 48, 65. Let us Identify their nearest to tens numbers. 48 is in between 40, 50 and near to 50. Okay. So, we have to write uh, 50 in place of 48. So, remove 48 and write 50. So, 4,89,350. Now, see the second number 65 we have in tens place. So, 65 is in between 60 and 70. As it is the middle number, we have to round off to the highest place. That is, we have to write 70 in place of 65. Let us write. So, in the place of 65, we have to write 70. So, the number becomes 48,370. And then we have to find the difference, right? Let us find the difference between them. So, 0, 15 minus 7. 8, that means we borrowed from here, yeah, sorry, if you borrow from here, it becomes 15, 15 minus 7, 8, now 2 is left, from 2 it's not possible, again borrow becomes 12, so 12 minus 3, 9, 8 minus 8, 0, 8 minus 4, 4, and 4 comes down, now we completed uh, nearest hundreds and nearest tens rounding off. Okay, children.